Sagittarius, Sagittarius. A Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Ooh, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Ow, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Hey, what's up, Saggy baby? What's going on in the life of a Saggy for January 2019? Happy New Year. <laughs> I know some people got on uh, another one of my videos like, well, the New Year already passed. <laughs> I just got here. Happy New Year. <laughs> How y'all doing? I pray that you guys are actually experiencing many, 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 many prosperous moments, that you guys are healing and taking advantage of this solar eclipse energy to move towards your creative endeavors. Um, when I actually got to uh, the energy of Sagittarius, really pretty much the mutable energy period, I got to say, I had to really light my little blue candle up because, you know, I got to get my little throat chakra game popping all right um for some reason with the mutable signs i was having an issue with speaking okay so uh, there are uh, you could also be dealing with another mutable sign as well for some reason when i was meditating on your energy i kept hearing pisces and virgo so that could definitely be very significant to you but without further ado we gonna rock this is for my sun moon rising venus as well as the cross watchers for the sun sagittarius for january 2019 i am taking a break you guys so i will be open for personal readings up until the 10th of this month and then i'm going to be taking a break for about a week or two and then i will be opening up for only emergency readings only for the rest of january i will be back february to drop that bomb shit but i'm going through a light activation myself so with that i'm really needing to rest and focus on um, my creative endeavors as well as um spiritual growth and really kind of learning how to make this alchemy work for me so with that said hey boo hey <laughs> this is your first time to my channel i'm mocha also if this is your first time to my channel <laughs> i cuss so if cussing doesn't work for you please feel free to find another beautiful reader on youtube who resonate with you better uh just without the profane language because i'm gonna do what the hell i want to do this is my shit all right for those of you who have liked shared, subscribed commented, you guys thank you so very much i truly 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 appreciate all of the love and all of the efforts and all just all of the support all the appreciation um, I really appreciate it, you know, the love and support from you guys, and just really all the appreciation that you show me within the comment section, you know, of being very receptive to me. Thank you so much for allowing me to share my love and my light with you all, you know. It's really been quite the damn journey, and we're going to keep on trucking. We've almost hit a year, uh, January 26th, so for those of you who have trucked with me and been pushing through with me, thank you so much, y'all, for being such loyal family members. To uh, the new subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. We're a little dysfunctional, all right? We don't we don't fight, we don't fuss. Sometimes we cry a little bit, you know, but we do love, we share, we grow, we enlighten, we enrich, we evolve, okay? So positive vibes only over here and moving forward, all right? We leaving all the negative shit back in 2018 and on other people's channel because we don't do that over here, all right? So returning family members, I pray that you all had a beautiful new year and that you're starting your new year out with the complete purge, okay? And that you're really starting your new year out really learning to trust yourself because your intuition, my saggy baby, is off the damn charts, all right? This is not a personal. It's a general take what applies, leave the rest. And if you need a personal reading, that information is in the description. Let's rock, all right? So, the first message that I got for you guys, all right, that wanted to fly out of this damn Archangel Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue a few times was, uh, comes from Archangel Chamuel, okay? It says, Beloved One, I'm helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. So, some of you guys have been sending out your prayers and your affirmations. I feel that some of you all have been dreaming and anticipating um, some type of divine partnership with someone. And I feel the energy of, I don't know what to say. What do I say? What do I do? Because I definitely feel that you and this particular someone have some type of history with one another. And sad as you need to make a choice. For some of you all, you got a damn array of opportunities opening up for you for the month of January 2019. And you really need to make an overall choice. What is it that sad is really wanting to do to the boo? Okay? So let's go. What else do you have? My beautiful Sagittarius for the month of January. What is it they need to know? What is it that they need to know? What is it that they need to know? Yeah. For some of you all, Sag. I feel that this is a time to truly, truly, truly present your authentic self when dealing with people. You're going through a level of um, evolving. 
and ultimately transcending. And with that, I feel that some of you all are really, really, really going to be in this place of illumination, you know, not only with you, but as well as other people. There are things being illuminated during this time, and it's not happening to you, baby. It's happening for your best interest, because for some of you all, I'm, I think I told Virgo this too, you can't take everybody with you. For some of you all, you're really seeing straight through people during this time, and I feel like there is some type of mother figure. This could be an older woman, all right? But I feel like for some of you all, you're really looking at someone with new eyes. I feel that you gain, um, we're doing this time, you'll be able to gain different perspectives in order for you to have a shift in your belief system, I'm hearing, okay? There's a shift in going on with Saggy's belief system during this time. And I definitely feel like it has to do with your truth, not the truth that you've been taught through religious, you know, through religious um groups as well as uh different organizations that you know were kind of forced up on you through do pretty much through childhood okay so some of y'all may be having different views and beliefs with some type of mother figure during this time over your uh, over your authentic truth but y'all you can't feel bad about arguing with people especially when google them free what the fuck? yeah some of you all some of you all huh? Some of y'all have been waiting for a twin flame uh, partnership to actually take off and flourish. I do see this is definitely an infinite time, okay? And I definitely see some of you all may be seeing four, five, six. Some of you guys may be seeing a lot of dragonflies to uh, let you guys know that there is changes upon you. And there's this sense of newness that's needing to be received. But it's going to require for you to shift your perspective and not be able to receive the things that's coming to you from a place of fear or move at those things or your ambitions from a place of fear, but move at it with infinite because for some of you all, it's faded for you. Some of you guys are really in your head about, um, I'm never going to do this. I'm never going to have love. I didn't got too old. I didn't got too good. Look here. <laughs> if damn Oprah can have a boo, all right? If it, cause, cause, cause for me, Oprah is like the, my little spiritual mommy. She has been for quite some time. Very enlightened, you know, but I can't, sometimes I really can't think of her having sex. You know, I, I mean, I have, I, I can see her hollering, I'm rich, bitch, on New Year's, you know, in the privacy of her home, popping some type of expensive ass white Ziffendale or some shit, but I can't see her doing it. I mean, who can, who can pitch Oprah doing it? Think about it. Now, let's, next subject, let's move. <laughs> but for some of you all, some of you all, yeah, it's a very infinite time. It's destined for you all. For those of you who've been feeling very uncomfortable, um, I feel that with this solar eclipse, with that red moon being in the back, there's there's definitely things being illuminated, okay, for you guys to really shift your perspective in things and see things from, uh, or really see the beauty in situations. I feel that there's this sense of you needing to move forward and not have a fear of vulnerability because it's your actual vulnerability that's going to assist spirit in bestowing these blessings upon to you. You have to be willing to give something in order to get something sad. And I definitely feel like a lot of you all may be seeing a whole lot of alchemic things during this time, especially with your dreams. I, I feel because I, I saw that with Virgo, but there's some type of like geometry, like geometry symbols. Some of you all could also be working with sigils during this time to manifest things. Um, what to manifest your desires under this new moon energy? Good shit, because it's in Capricorn, especially if you're trying to manifest anything financial. All right, this is a great time for you guys to, for those of you who do practice um, white magic. I mean, I'm not going to push anybody to, to, to work on dark magic, but I see this shit. This is a good time for you all to truly, truly, truly strengthen your petitions and truly detox. There's a need for you guys to also spiritually uh, protect yourself and really know how to... Um, kind of extract other people's energy up off you during this time because a lot of you guys are dealing with people who have projected fears okay and i feel like sad you're releasing that you're starting completely from scratch some of y'all are literally starting from scratch after just really letting motherfuckers know how you feel during this time look i'm not for it all right some of you guys um your spirit told them during this time maybe these dragonflies for some of you all it may also be um for some of y'all, it may also be like white doves or some form of like white birds, but I definitely see white doves. For some of you all, it's also owls, <clears throat> but you're definitely completing cycles, okay? As above, so below. You're gathering everything it is that you need in order for you to manifest whatever it is that you desire in this very alchemic way. I feel this at you. A lot of you all are... Um, <laughs> 
Some of you all are also going through light activation. There's a need for you to rest during this time, too, and focus on your health. For some of you all, yeah, you're definitely moving forward. You're moving forward in prosperity, towards prosperity and abundance in your truth. However, some of you guys are really, um, some of y'all are really getting exhausted during this time. This could be someone in your energy stash, but I feel like someone puts on a face, you know, to the public or someone puts on a face. But inside, you know, they're very, very, very delicate. There, there's this fear of being hurt. There's this fear of being abandoned. And there's a completion coming to that particular cycle. I feel like for those of you who are waiting on that divine partnership, there's a need for vulnerability. There's a need for you to truly see or allow someone to see, see right through you, see the beauty in your soul. And I feel like someone has been trying to control that aspect, you know, and things are really coming to harmony within the self. For some of you all, some of you guys are actually moving forward towards that divine partnership uh, with the, I, I see with the Pisces person. But I feel like it's after you, you, it's after you embrace this feminine energy. I feel like some of you all are really going to be feeling your way through in the month of January. I definitely feel like some of you guys will be feeling it, it, and also releasing soul ties. For those of you who have not been able to sleep, uh, those of you, and I've also seen some, some of you guys are astral traveling to the fifth dimension and actually trying to like speed up the process uh, for things to manifest here within the 3D with a soulmate relationship or with some type of uh, divine partnership. But I definitely see you guys actually being successful in actually manifesting what it is that you're trying to um, surface here on the 3D. And I feel like for some of you all, you're really trying to tie up loose ends, cut out loose ties. Because for some of you all, you're getting ready to travel. The month of January will offer you all, some of you all, the opportunity to travel. Some of you guys are literally traveling around the world. And I feel like for some of you all, this is your life purpose. It is. It does have to do with your life path. You're traveling and you get information. For some of you all, there's an opportunity, especially for my actors, actresses, models. I definitely see an opportunity uh, opening up for you that is going to actually give you a big shift in your career, in your career sector, as well as um, allow you guys to move forward and really remove that damn limit that you've put on life. It's time to truly live versus merely exist, Sag. Yeah. And for some of you all, it's faded. This is faded. You're closing these cycles and you're closing actual soul contracted cycles. For some of you all, you're actually dealing with um, hereditary, like hereditary cycles, okay? For those of you who have issues with your mother and maybe it's kind of it's kind of descending down even with how you communicate with your spouse's mother or the partners that you attract, even with them having issues with your mother, there's a need for you to really pull yourself out of that situation and really look at it from a third party's point of view to truly mediate the situation and then step back in yourself and be able to really understand other people's point of view of things and understand that you can't really change other people. You can only allow, I mean, you can only accept the fact that they're going to be who they are, but that doesn't mean you have to allow their bullshit and their projected fears into your life. Switch up how you're moving, baby. Yeah, for some of you all, some of you all are really shifting your diet during this time. Some of y'all might also be seeing bees. Bees are good luck when it comes to that money. Y'all better, when you see it, you better claim it. Some of y'all could also be seeing 888 as abundance is destined for you in the future, but it's going to be a reward from the universe, uh, really with that Jupiter energy as well as that Uranus, that Uranus energy shifting. But it's going to, a lot of you all during this time are going to be, um, gathering information some of you all may be even cleaning out your closet and kind of reminiscing on um people places some of y'all may be reading letters from your past some of y'all also may be finding like old journals during this time and kind of going through them just to kind of reflect on where you've been and i feel like in doing this somebody gonna have a damn aha moment that's just gonna be like, you know what when I was writing, when I was expressing myself, when I was actually moving towards my artistic abilities, towards my healing abilities, when I was actually practicing and really sharpening my craft, I was in this place of fulfillment. What is it that you want? What is it that your heart truly desires, Sag? 
Because spirit is opening a door for you during this time, an infinite door for you to get it and for you to see the abundant path that it's going to bring you. But if there's going to be a need for you to reflect and see some of the some of the errors in other people. OK, I feel like some of you guys are going to be able to see smooth through other people's shit. But they're what you're not what you're failing to realize in order for you to complete cycles is that these people in some form or fashion, even subconsciously on a fear level are some type of resemblance or mirroring of yourself. And the things that you've either even either worked on or the things that you're now coming to acknowledge in order to work on to heal those aspects of yourself so that you can move forward and attract what it is that you truly desire into your life in a very alchemic way. Some of you may also be looking into the law of attraction. Very alchemic. For some of you all. Sad, some of you all really, really hold the keys to bringing stability to a situation. And I feel like even if this is just internal, internal, like internal healing, I feel that you hold the keys to that with the shift in perspective and how you choose to look at things. Some of you all, it was destined for you to go through some of these things and complete these cycles because some of you all are musicians. Some of you are somebody who you was beefing with. I, and there's, talk, there's going to be talks of a partnership. There's a need to see the unconditional love in every single person that has ever came in our life. Whether they broke you down or built you up, use it, baby. For those of you who are artists, for those of you who, um, some of y'all also may be connecting um, telepathically through uh, with with a twin flame or a life partner or a past life soulmate through music. For some of you all, there's this need to create, and I feel like this is your destined path. Some of you all are creators, the philosophers, the expansionists. And I feel that during this time, a lot of you all are really needing to express yourself through creative writing. You are going to see bountiful blessings come from it. Poetry. Um, some of you all, some of you all create meditation music, Reiki music. But I feel like you also sit on this fear of what everybody else is gonna think because of how you was raised and religious ties. There's this, there's this need for you to know that the alchemy that you are manifesting, these doors that you're opening. These keys that the universe is giving you, it's, it's fated. It's destined for you. This eight for infinite, baby. It's destined for you to move through these doors fearlessly. You're not already been through the mud. What else you got to buff fucking be scared of? Because I feel like a lot of you all doubt yourself, but you are protected, baby. Again, this number 11, balance, protection. A lot of you all are... Uh, literally ascending to new ascending to new heights as far as your journey a lot of you all will be actually discovering how to fully unlock yourself in the month of January and I feel like it's going to take you beyond your measures for you to truly understand what I said earlier when I said Sash doesn't need for you to truly live without merely existing what, what you, it, of course anything can go wrong but what if it don't? Shit can also go well, too. You can also be successful, too. What is there to fear? Because some of y'all are afraid of your own success. And there's a need for that perspective to shift during this time. Confidence. Don't lie there in defeat. Get that ass back up and get on that damn barbell. Because you the baddest, you the baddest damn barbell is walking ass sad. I look here, okay? Confidence. Only see your progress. Only see your blessings. Only your eye on the prize, baby. Dust yourself off and try again. And tell yourself you the greatest. The only thing that failure can truly, truly, truly bring to our life. Only thing that we need to hold. From the lesson that we need to hold from failure is how the fuck to get back up and how not to do how not to do something so that we don't fall again the same way. 
If at first you don't succeed, dust yourself off and try again. It's time. It's infinite. Your soul is screaming to jump back out there because it's it, 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 it's needing that fulfillment. It's needing that momentum from you. And you're needing that fulfillment to that void that you've been filling. That spirit trying to give you that. But it's time to let your nuts hang. Alright? Let's get it. Things are being woven together. Okay? For some of you all, you're clothing designers. And I feel like you're skeptical. I feel like I'm talking to someone who's a clothing designer. And your shit is badass. But I feel like there's like a sexy, there's like a sexy, graceful nasty to it. Like, I would wear that shit. Okay? Definitely. Just shoot, shoot me the link. Alright, sis? Alright, bro? But I feel like with that, some of you all possibly came up in some type of, I'm hearing, um, Jehovah Witness. I'm also hearing Pentecostal. Some of you guys came up with some, um, in, in some type of religious upbringing that really makes you doubt yourself and your decisions. And you really been allowing other people to kind of pull the strings in your life. And it's time for you to take the scissors and cut them motherfuckers. That shit did in 2019. You can't please everybody, Sag. At the end of the day, somebody gonna be mad. You can tell a per give a person a million damn yeses, and they only gonna hold on to them no's, all right? Learn from that. You can't please everybody, all right? So, Spirit, what messages do you have for my sadness and finances? For the money, yeah. Some of you all, there's a need for you guys. Some of y'all are creators. Some of y'all, you want to be expressing yourself and possibly telling possibly your mother, you know, during this time, how you get your money. I feel like there's a sense of validation that you need in sad and you really need to move away from that. Some of you guys, whatever it is that you've been working on, whatever it is that you have been nurturing, your baby, do you understand? Your project, your creations, your endeavors, your entrepreneurship. But some of the, some of you all have been resisting, resisting that movement forward because I feel like you're so focused on, you know, well, this person don't need me and I got to be there for this person and this person and this person. But God, look out. Don't go with no woulda, coulda, shoulda. Some of you all, when it comes to finances, some of y'all have an issue with moving away. You get like stuck and fixed. Some of y'all could also be afraid to leave a job due to the fact that you're having a connection with somebody. There's some type of soulmate connection at the job. And I feel like for some of you all, some of y'all is waiting on an apology from somebody. And this came through in a, in, in a spiritual message, but I feel like it's like some of y'all literally standing in your own way of getting help from people because of pride. What the, what can you buy with pride, Sage? What can you buy with it? How does pride grow you? What have you gained from it in the past? How will it assist you going forward? Think about it. Yeah, some of you all feel stuck or trapped at a job when I feel like for some of you all, there's this need for you to move forward and truly create what it is that you, that you, what you're passionate about. And I definitely feel like with doing so, you're going to be able to manifest your dreams, okay? Some of y'all kind of feel stuck in some type of like marriage or some type of family dynamic due to someone being, um, pretty much the breadwinner, maybe sad you were at home, mom, you really wanted to move away, kind of expand, spread your wings a little bit, I don't want to be no damn at home mom again, some of you guys want to work on getting a degree of some sort to actually pursue your passions, because I'm also hearing education, okay, some of you all, yeah, some of y'all have a Virgo boss, this could also be a tourist, this could also be an Aquarian, but I feel like Whomever this, this could also be a Libra, Pisces. Whomever this is, Sag, y'all have a very, very, very controlling person in your energy when it comes to how you get your money. I feel like this person want to know what you're doing, how you're doing it. How come you don't do it like this? Because I do it like this. And doing it like this then work for everybody else. And this is, some of you guys are really moving away from a toxic situation. I feel like some of y'all not even going to give the people no two weeks notice. For those of you who've been uh, waiting to hear from uh, possibly an application, you are, it looks good around the second to third week of January. I definitely 
feel like you're going to be able uh, to move forward. For those of you who have been wanting to leave the situation, but finances have been an issue, I definitely feel like you are going to be able to leave somebody out in the damn cold after some type of financial elevation. But I definitely feel like, yeah, that second to third week of January looks good on the financial on, on the financial front. Some of you guys are intuitively being nudged. Those of you who are business owners, I do see your business moving forward in a very, very uh, prosperous way. But some of you guys, there was some type of like block or stagnancy within your money because there was a need for spirit to truly, um, to truly like kind of put a wedge in between some type of karmic, karmic relationships. Okay, this could have been with um, possibly someone who is a Scorpio. Possibly another Sagittarius, Cancer. But there's definitely a transformation happening on the financial front. For some of you all, it's that need for you to take that blind leap of faith. Because when you do, you come out as the King of Pentacles. This King can also be a Queen. But she's here as well. The King and Queen of Pentacles. For some of you all, there's um, a partnership. You could have left somebody out hanging on a partnership. And didn't give them no explanation. Says there's a need for you to move, move forward, drop the damn pride. And this could be somebody waiting on an apology from you. But I definitely feel like this person is still willing to put in the work. And I do see you guys growing to be successful, especially if this is someone who you have, um, like a, a kids with or some type of. Uh, this could be your child's mother, child's father. Yeah, but some of you all are going to be receiving some type of communication from somebody who possibly. Um, could also be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, assisting you, assisting you and helping you uh, advance and whatever advance, invest in whatever it is that you are trying to um, grow. Okay, but I definitely see for some of you all, love and finances are tied together. For some of you all, you could be um, some of y'all are gonna be receiving some type of inheritance, and this could be the big damn fallout with your mother, with this mother figure that I I'm seeing. Some of you guys, yeah, love and finances go together. I'm also hearing career changes, career transitioning. So for some of you all, you're definitely transitioning what it is that you do all together. So for those of you who was possibly a damn uh, social worker, but you but you do some bomb ass hair, you know, there's a need for you to actually network, use these social platforms for their damn free act for their free advertisement and actually tag people. And actually allow your friends to help you as far as the support and sharing your shit. And actually believe in yourself to actually own your own shit versus building into somebody else's dream and some time and peace you can't get back. Think about it. Alright? Let's get it. Spirit messages do you have my beautiful Sagittarius in love for the month of January 2019. What messages do you have for my Sagittarius? Someone love Venus as well as the Fox Watchers. January 2019. One more time. Thank you, Spirit. Right, get ready. Let's just do you have my beautiful badges. Yeah, some of you guys are either charging in um, to actually communicate with an air sign or this person is actually doing that to you during this time. I feel like and it's definitely uh, definitely involving some type of reconciliation, okay? Someone wants to reconcile and have a new beginning. And I definitely feel like this could be an air sign that could have cut you off, Sag. Uh, maybe this person wanted that in the past. Or maybe you could have cut them off, okay? But there's definitely going to be some type of straightforward communication um, regarding someone and what it is they truly want to manifest with someone. I definitely feel like, Sag, you see this person as being, or this person may see you as being uh, financially independent. Maybe this person is actually working on their uh working on their finances and that could have been why this person could have ghosted you or you could have ghosted another person. I feel like someone was pride and finances was definitely an issue. Also, um communication was also an issue as well. Somebody could have been also really somebody could have been verbally a bitch. I'm just gonna say it like that, all right? Sag, some of you all could definitely be ending or beginning a cycle. Okay, some of y'all are resisting ending cycles, I feel, with the Scorpio, a Leo, a Taurus, or an Aquarian person, or this could be this person um, actually resisting that cycle. I felt like someone actually left someone in this state of mental, like, delusionment. You know, is that even a word? Like, somebody left somebody in this in this space of delusional, or being delusional. 
and now this person is kind of kind of watching and stalking Sag. You could definitely be watching an air sign that you want to have a new beginning with Gemini Libra Aquarius, or this person could definitely be watching you. I feel like this person, whoever you're dealing with, you some of y'all are very intuitive, and you're also dealing with someone who's very intuitive, and some of y'all got a very telepathic connection with someone, and I feel like this person is very closed off. They keep a lot of their feelings and their emotions to their self, and because of that, again, that's that mirror of sad. You can't expect something that you're not willing to give, so there's this need of give and take during this time with someone. Some of y'all, yes, definitely a younger air sign. I feel like you and this person could definitely communicate very close to one another. I feel like, you know, the fact that they, I do have the king and the queen of swords. However, what I notice is with them, no matter which way I put them, okay, no matter which way I put them, either they go on a wall with each other with words, or they go in their own separate ways due to words, due to some type of very firm ass conflict okay i definitely feel like there could have been issues in the past and somebody just holds standing they damn ground all right i definitely feel like some yeah some of you guys are going to be finding out you know that you could you could be pregnant or have someone in your energy pregnant congratulations baby okay this could definitely be an earth sign or a water sign Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Some of you could also be finding out about children uh, through the legal system. Some of y'all could also be tied to a Leo who wants commitment. This is definitely a past life partnership. And I feel like this relationship can flourish. But there's a mission. It's like a, I'm literally seeing like a bullfight. You know what I'm saying? Like some of y'all could also be dealing with the sign of Taurus. I feel like there's a lot of passion. There's a lot of love. But there's, someone is resisting committing to something. Committing and actually not fighting the damn process of something beautiful that spirit is trying to give you there's a negative equal give and take okay but some of you all you could be fighting with a damn earth sign due to the fact of somebody is somebody was using somebody financially here and now this person wants to come back sad be careful because for some of y'all they want blood they are bare they're not some of y'all somebody is using children somebody is using children as like a toxic hole for some of y'all this could be a capricorn for some of you all you feel stuck or tied to someone due to children and i feel like whomever this is this is somebody who is always got their damn hand out this could definitely be someone who you have a children with this could be an aries person or a virgo person and some of you guys will be possibly in the month of january reconciling with another fire sign okay to kind of to kind of communicate straightforward. I feel like some of you guys are trying to hit the reset button when it comes to dealing with the fire sign. However, you have to victoriously move away from this damn earth sign who don't want to let go. And some of you all, you just, I feel like you're having to juggle situations because you know that you don't want to be with this person, even though I feel like financially with this, whomever, yeah, whomever this water sign is, some of y'all are juggling the earth and the water sign and that's preventing a new beginning from happening and keeping you feeling stuck, okay? There's definitely going to be a need for somebody to cut someone else off in order for something to progress and in order for you to really be able to focus to put the work in as if it should go, okay? I definitely feel like some of y'all are very intuitive and you know this. Some of y'all, again, are communicating with somebody in the 5D and I feel like it's to prevent you being rejected upon, one, upon returning back to someone to reconcile because you... Or this other person could also have another path as far as a new beginning. And I feel like you wanted to offer something stable to this person. All right. You want to hold on to them. Or this could also be an earth sign holding on to you. Or you holding on to the earth sign after possibly cutting off the water and the fire sign. All right. I definitely feel like Sag is going to be offering a damn cup possibly to a cancer. Okay. During this month. I see Cancer Pisces and Scorpio here. Um individually i also see taurus virgo capricorn here individually and i also see sag aries um leo here individually okay with major arcana so i definitely feel like some of you are going to have to really like let go of your damn control issues to a particular situation because i feel like you're not really helping the process but you're yet resisting the change but some of y'all it's a damn leo who don't want to let go this person is resisting the change some of you all you're definitely releasing karmic partners and you moving into divine partnerships and i feel like intuitively some of y'all are keeping this to yourself leave right sag because what goes around definitely comes around but some of you all you tired you're tired of putting work into a situation possibly with an earth sign and expecting something new 
Some of you all are moving away from shit. You're moving away from this person. Or maybe this person's moving away from you, okay? After possibly finding out some type of news about a child, okay? Or possibly moving forward with the fire sign and starting new. Actually changes the dynamic of how you did things in the past. I feel like for some of you, you in the past, you possibly only gave someone the opportunity to have a sexual relationship with you. But now you or this other person is wanting more, but you in your head about it because there's this fear of vulnerability. There's this fear of rejection. Like you, you claiming this damn defeat. From possibly this Virgo or this damn Gemini, who's someone who you want to have this Ten of Cups with, and I definitely feel like you got to go through in the top. And some of y'all intuitively know you got to have a tower moment in order to have what it is that you're wanting, that you're wanting to put the work in. You're gonna have to walk away from, you know, ego and reckless ass fucking communication and manipulative tit for tat ass shit. And I also feel like somebody really, somebody drinks too damn much. Okay. You, you, you really need to set clear boundaries with dealing with people. Whomever this damn water sign is or this earth sign, some of y'all are dealing with a water sign or someone who could have put you in a third party situation that could have included children due to the fact that they had or you had some type of uh, substance substance abuse issues in the past but i feel like now you and this other person has both gone through some type of transformation for some of you okay and i feel like there's this fear of taking a leap of faith because you're scared that this person is going to abandon you this person is afraid that you're going to leave them out on the phone you could also be dealing with an aries person but i definitely feel like for some of you all you're leaving that shit behind you're leaving the hurt, the disappointment, all that shit behind, and you focus on your damn coin, and you focus on nurturing yourself and standing in your own power. For some of you all, you're nurturing a family situation. You're trying to bring structure back to that shit, to build solid foundations, friendships, hitting the reset button, offering that cup of love that maybe you didn't offer or receive in the past if someone is doing this to you. But I definitely feel like someone wants to hit the reset. Some of you guys, you have to... Clear this karmic cycle with I'm hearing abandonment and rejection and vulnerability with fear of those vibrations in order for you to go into this new cycle and truly embrace this damn ten of pentacles. Embrace, you know, embrace this, this, these, these miracles that's happening. For some of you all, there is going to be a transformation of a family situation possibly with coming through some type of court link up court decision okay so some of y'all i do see reconciliations i do see a chance to forgive i do see a shift in perspective i also do see um just a releasing of control issues someone said if you were constantly you know attracting manipulative narcissistic ass people there's a need for you to kind of step back take that acknowledgement and for some of you all you may even project that and you may project it unknowingly we're all guilty of it in some form or fashion or at some point of our life hell i've even been guilty of it you understand but i was raised in a i was raised in a household where you know i didn't really have um opinions and i didn't really have you know or, or say so hell I, I couldn't even really express you know the uh, or feel comfortable expressing the gift that i had without feeling like i was going to be judged because of religious upbringing so trust me i do understand i resonate with this hella you know but i definitely feel like there's this need to move away some of y'all are literally going to be moving okay um healing situations with someone and truly 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 moving or taking a trip to someone to um actually bring some type of resolve to a, a particular situation and this could involve a fire sign aries leo sag or air sign pretty much everybody's here but sag a lot of you all are really coming back into the presence of somebody who thought the grass was greener on the other side and found out that they had fake ass grass all right this could have been you or the other person but i definitely feel like there's a chance to forgive and there is going to be this transformation and some type of relationship that once could have been karmic. But I definitely feel like since both people have kind of went through this evolving or both people have kind of went through their own karmic lessons to kind of understand where the other person was coming from, there's this there's this harmony that can actually take place. And there's divine timing written all over this damn reading. So you guys let me know how this resonates. This is what I have for my Saggy babies for the month of January. Again, I have a $15 off special on my 30 to 60 minute sessions. If you need a personal reading, hit me up until January the 10th. If after that, just shoot me an email and I'm only doing emergency readings and all of that information is within the description. I love y'all. Much light, much love. Namaste. Bye y'all.